Good morning. Welcome to .programming.blogspot.com. Today I'm talking about dynamically create control on button click. When we click on the button and then add a text boxes one by one. When single click, uh, then add a single uh, text box in the panel. And further, when we click on button, then again um, text box is add uh, below previously added uh, text box. So. To do this task, uh, first of all, add a web form. Uh, in the web form, mm, we have a single form that is uh, with the ID property of form one. Now, uh, I want to create uh, controls in dynamically. Uh, so. Uh, when we lo uh, when we uh, browse our page in browser then first of all a literal control uh, or you can say the label control and the panel control and one button control is display when first time page is load so uh, actually here we uh, writes some code in the page load in the class uh, first of all create a panel so panel for text boxes in the panel class so create uh, instance of the panel class mm, panel the instance of the panel is panel for text box panel for text box yeah that's fine <coughs> actually uh, uh, create a literal control instance and also a label control a label display the text mm. okay label text box so create a panel dynamically by uh, the object of the panel class so panel for text box equals to new panel through which we can create a panel instance in the memory so panel for text boxes assign the id and the text property so first of all assign an id uh, that is the same uh, of the instance name of the panel that is panel for text boxes so panel for text boxes assign the id property that is panel for text boxes okay that's fine now assign the panel for text boxes dot border color and border width so border width is 2 and mm, the width of the panel is 400 pixels so wide of the panel that is 400 pixel but height is not mentioned here okay that's fine now add this panel in the form so this dot form one dot controls dot add and what that is panel panel for text boxes yeah successfully added the panel control in the form by using this line this dot form one dot controls dot add now you add a little control by using the object of the little class little equals to new literal literal dot text uh, br uh, literal dot text equals to br this dot form one dot controls dot add literal control and what is the text of the letter that is br line break and label text label text box that is the label um, with the text property so first of all create a label um, object in the memory and assign the text of the label that is dynamic text box now 
also use line break okay label text it's too much simple panel for text box now add a label control in the panel that is panel for text box dot controls dot add that is the ID property of the panel uh, or you can say instance name of the panel dot controls dot add the label now add a button control outside the panel so button add button equals to new button add button dot ID and the text as well as uh, the panel and the literal and the label so add button dot id uh, the same of the instance name of the button class that is add button add button dot text of the button equals to uh, add new text box now also button um, use a click events so add button dot click when we click on the button then add a text box dynamically in the panel control so here we use a panel in the global instance name okay so system dot event handler button oops it's not a good name mm. click to add text box yeah that's my name okay now generate a method stub on the click to add text boxes add the button control in the form that is this dot form one dot controls dot add now what is the look uh, of this code to see this uh, code output in the browser first of all add a gen uh, add a method stub by using generate method stub by using right click on it this feature is not available in visual studio 2015 by using right click okay also this is the uh, further method we use that is uh, in the post back when we click on the page the page is post back so on this time it's a uh, true so control create run method when we click on the button then on that time control create a uh, function is generated because again the page is loaded on that time control create uh, generate two uh, parameter uh, assign two parameter that is dynamic text and the text boxes so both methods that is control create and the click to add text boxes is empty to see this output in the browser it's take uh, much times to uh, run this application because uh, my computer load slow so please keep patience to watch the output in the browser to see the output in the browser wait for some time Now in the next video tutorial when we click on the button then text boxes add dynamically okay uh, because um, here we uh, in this in the first part I have take too much time to create the code for uh, add dynamically text box 
aquí so uh, I want to stop here the first part in the second part see the output of the page yeah add new text box when we click on the button that nothing to happen here because the in the post pack event simply call, call uh, create control dynamically with the two parameters okay that is control create method dynamically text and text box so thank you thank you very much for watching this the first part tutorial in the second part I will create dynamically text boxes when we click on the button thank you thank you very much please watch the second part video tutorial